a short 16 years ago in this very location, a cute, innocent baby girl was abandoned. April 30th, 2002 was just a normal day in my life. I was working, it was picture day at Mother's Day Out, and that morning I had a call from a young man asking me to watch his little girl and he walked across the street with her. For some reason in my mind, I just decided this was a precious little girl who didn't come from very much, so I went to Dillard's, bought a hair bow and had her picture made when she was three months old. At the end of the day, she was still there. No one picked her up. I had no idea what to do with this leftover child. I called my husband and he said, well, I guess bring her home with you. Mark and April already had three boys living in their home. However, they welcomed this baby in with open arms. She was safe, secure, and adored. When we came back from vacation, after having Allie for 17 months, seeing our family mesh together, uh, the, the uniqueness of that. We get back home, there was a letter waiting for us that we had to go to a court. In this very building behind me, it all changed. Allie was carelessly handed back over to her abusive biological family. I, I cried. I sat there and held her. She was asleep in my arms, and I cried because I'm thinking, this little angel is going to be taken from me. So all of a sudden say, okay, you're done. That devastated me. Even though the Graves called her Allie, her biological family referred to her as Alexandria. The abuse took place on Singapore Drive. She lived in horror only half a mile from Mark and April. I was that little girl who was left. Those four years were incredibly consistent. Um, I was abused every single day. I was neglected every single day. And I ran away pretty often. I knew that wasn't my home. One of Allie's I biological family members walked in on the abuse and immediately called Child Protective Services. Allie was sent to court-appointed special advocates and later placed into foster care at only four years old. A friend of mine got permission to give us a call because she knew we had a previous relationship with her told me that she was in foster care and that she needed help. The Graves immediately began taking legal action to get Allie back. My role in Allie's case was uh, limited, really, to the courtroom proceedings. Give all the credit to Mark in April. It's not what I've done, it's what they've done. Allie was successfully adopted into the Graves family. She now travels across the entire southern United States, sharing her heartbreaking story to encourage others like her. Unfortunately, not all stories end like Allie's did. Surprisingly, one in five children will be abused by the age of 18. The highlights of Allie's story are truly one in a million, but abuse is all too common. Colton Minter, reporting for STN.